In volatile hostage situations, highly trained snipers are often relied upon to provide a precise and immediate response when necessary. Army Sergeant Ricky Perez takes us to South Korea, where Special Reaction Team snipers are training to hit the vital T-zone. When faced with serious life-threatening hostage situations, a quick and swift response could be the difference maker. 142nd Military Police Company always keeps their skills sharp to be ready in a pinch. Guns up. We're part of the Special Reaction Team. It's basically the SWAT team for the military police, the SWAT equivalent of the civilian world, and the sniper team, where the marksman observers are serving as counter sniper, and also we work as uh, hostage situations. SRT continues to train to find the best way possible to neutralize a dangerous situation before it escalates. They're always training to hit the T-zone, and the T-zone on a, a human being will be from here to here and from here to here, and that makes a T. If you hit somebody in the T-zone, it stops all muscle uh, movement and reaction. So if somebody's holding somebody else hostage, and let's say they have a gun to them or something like that, if you hit them in the T-zone with a bullet, it'll stop their entire nervous system and that their body will not be able to react. Army Sergeant Ricky Perez, Warrior Base, Korea. <laughs>